Okay, we'll, we will start. Let's go ahead with Jeremy. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Joe. Well batted today. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, the match situation, how do you see it? India need 157 more. How confident are you about England still winning this test match? Yeah, I think, as always, you'd want more runs to play with. There's no doubt about that. But we've seen throughout this whole game there have been times where um, clusters of wickets have fallen and, you know, the game's really flipped on its head. So there's, there's certainly feels like there's nine chances out there tomorrow. We've just got to make sure that we, we make those runs last as long as possible. Um, we ask good, hard questions of the defences for, for long periods of time. Um, and, and we've got to be really good in the field. We've got to take our chances. But certainly the belief will be there and we'll make sure that we throw everything we can at you. How pleased were you with your 21st Test century because you look pretty happy? Yeah, I, I was a bit, probably a little bit too excited. Um, but no, I certainly enjoyed it. I, I felt pretty good throughout this whole game. I felt like I've sort of got my rhythm back. i worked very hard at that for a period of time now. And, I, it's, um, you know, I think more than anything with the where we were in, in, in the game to, to, to sort of get ourselves into a position where we looked like we were going to get a really good score on the board was was really pleasing at, at that moment in time. And um, hopefully it can, it can be enough and it can be a, a contributing factor to a win. Um, Siraj had a lot to say, certainly to Johnny today and to Sam as well. Did he have much to say to you? And was it all pretty fair and above board? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't get anything. Um, I had a quite a nice conversation with him. He kept telling me how well he was bowling. And I agreed. Um, and I think that was sort of the gist with, with Sam and Johnny as well. Uh, so it's, you know, it, it was it created a great atmosphere, I thought, uh, within the ground. The, the crowd were fantastic. So good to, to have that atmosphere, especially at a ground like Trent Bridge. You really feel them involved in the Test match. And hopefully... Many can come tomorrow and uh, we can put on a real show. Thanks, Joe. Well done. Thank you. OK, we'll go to um, Rory. Go ahead, Rory. Hi, Joe. Um, Rory. When you came to the crease today, you were still, I think, about near enough 50 runs away from, from being level. It, it, it was a really tough situation. Does that make it a, a, really, a really particularly proud century for you? Because it, it changed the game, really, and, and gave England uh, a lifeline. Yeah, like you say, with the, in the context of the game, it, it obviously um, it felt very good to, to go and make a, a big score and a big contribution and get us into a position where now you know, we've, we've got a chance of winning this test match. Um, but this morning it was, you know, just sort of said to myself and, and actually to the group, like, just remember what's fun about cricket uh, and as batters, scoring runs and being out there batting. It might be tough sometimes, it might be hard, can be, especially in Test cricket, but it's fun. And it's really important that we all embrace that, we remember that. And whatever the situation, whatever the conditions, whatever the, um, you know, wherever you are in your own game, it's, it's really important that you go out there and you really look to, to enjoy that moment um, and make the most of it. And I'd certainly help myself uh, throughout today. And, you know, you, you always want more, I guess, is a team total, but do you feel like with a bowling attack, with, with the pedigree in there that you've got, that you left them, you left them a number that they could deliver? Yeah, I mean, as you say, as I said earlier, we always want more, but I do feel there's no chances in that surface. I feel like there are going to be opportunities. We're going to have to catch very well uh, when those when those chances come. But certainly felt like um, there's still plenty in that wicket, and you get a couple of early ones tomorrow, batting on the last day. Um, it's just a funny old game uh, that 150, 160 seems seems to grow it seems to get a lot bigger and if we can exploit that early doors tomorrow then um, we're certainly very much in this test match OK, we'll go with John and then George uh, Joe, um, I think you've scored more than a thousand runs in test cricket this year, the next highest for England is about 300 and something I mean it didn't seem like it today but are you finding it quite wearing to carry the batting so often? Um, no, I'm, I'm just trying to go out there and score as many runs as I can. And so is everyone else. They're working extremely hard at the game, doing everything they can to help move this team forward and, and post big totals. And you now we're going through quite a rough, a rough patch at the minute. It's been, it's been quite hard, um, but it's certainly not down to lack of effort. Um, there's some, some strong characters in that dressing room and they're, they're going to have to be strong characters because um, there's, you know, 
we've got to keep looking to get better. We've got to keep finding ways of, of making starts into, into big substantial scores. Um, but, uh, you know, in terms of my own form, it feels very good. Um, just want to keep it going. Thank you. Okay, George, and then we'll finish with Stefan. G'day, uh, well played, Joe. Uh, what are you doing differently uh, since, I don't know, before Sri Lanka? Uh, you've been incredibly consistent since then. Um, I think it's very, very different in Sri Lanka. It was making sure it was really clear about how I was going to score runs against spin. And similarly in India, it was having a real clear way of, of managing the turning ball and those surfaces and how I was going to look to... Um, rotate the strike well and and you know, have clear boundary options. Try and play as low risk cricket as possible on those in those conditions. And and similarly here, um, more than anything, even from New Zealand, I've changed a few things and actually feel a real benefit of playing some wide ball cricket. I know um, it'd be nice to have some some red ball cricket coming into this game, but from my point of view, playing fifty over cricket, it gave me that rhythm back into my batting. I felt like I got forward and back a lot better. Actually standing a lot taller, a lot earlier, picking my bat up a lot earlier and, and feel like I've got a rhythm back with my hands. So actually, for me, I find 50 over cricket can make a massive, uh, well, it can really help my, my red ball game um, and feel like I've not actually played that for a long period of time, uh, apart from those three games that we, uh, we had against Sri Lanka. So... Um, you know that was probably a, a big factor in, in terms of that, and you know, now it's now it feels good again. It's about trying to um, keep that keep that going, and 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 keep looking to to make any sort of starts into to big scores. And you said something about uh, making sure you enjoyed it again. Had that become difficult? No, I mean, everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to to win every test match, and you know we've. We found ourselves on the wrong side of a couple of results. And I think it's really important that that doesn't go into the next game or you know, go into a big series like this. It's really important that you you look at this as a, as a great opportunity and um, you really try and seize that. And you know, I managed to to get um, a nice a nice balance of that out of this game. Brilliant. Thank you. And Stefan, to finish, please. Just picking up from what George asked, really. There's always something for an England captain, isn't there? You know, just recently, you know, you've, you've lost Ben. There was the distraction of what might happen with the Ashes over the winter, COVID pressures. Further back, what happened with Ollie Robinson at Lords? There's always something that could take its toll on an England captain. I'm just wondering how you've been coping with that and how you've been feeling over the past few weeks and months. Um, I think, I mean, as you mentioned, there's, there's been a lot to handle, and uh, I think not just for me but for the whole squad. And it's um, it's really important that you you look to find ways of managing that. Um, I feel like doing the, the best I possibly can, and, and I think you just got to look at each situation and try and find a solution. Um, you can sort of let it weigh you down and just think that um, you know it's just bad luck. Everything sort of seems to keep spiraling, but ultimately it doesn't change anything. You just got to find ways of, of, of finding a, a solution and find a way of, of you know, getting what, what we need to get out of this summer. And that's trying to win five test matches against India. So uh, more than anything, it's, it's just trying to deal with everything that's right in front of you. And um, yeah, not, not sort of letting anything overwhelm you, just, just trying to do the best that, with, with what's you know, mapped out in front of you. Was that celebration a bit of a, a release? It looked like you were signalling towards your wife and then beating your chest towards the crowd? Yeah, I mean, like I say, I really enjoyed the atmosphere within the ground. Um, you know, I felt like I played really nicely. Um, and I probably did just let the whole, you know, the, the five, ten minutes leading into actually getting 100 was a bit hairy as well. So there's was quite a lot of relief in, in that respect. Um, a couple of big LB shouts and... Um, you know, I kept smacking at the field. I was, it looked like I was trying to get myself out, but I promise you I wasn't. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was, there was a little bit of relief in that respect. And, you know, more than anything, just, you know, I could say getting us into that situation. Um, it was actually a, an opportunity to, to sort of say thank you to, the, to everyone in the ground and to, you know, 
wife and whoever, um, all of the teammates in the dressing room. Thanks very much. Well batted. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everyone.